this balance seems so significant having these different aspects of what works for you. And I'm curious if it is something that you were able to establish early on or if it's taken time to find that balance for yourself of what, what is and perhaps isn't helpful. I think it took a really long time. Um, boundary setting is important. And as my, I, I'm in a unique position where as my kids grow, normally people's kids are becoming less dependent. And so for me, uh, you know, today, my kids are the least dependent they're going to be ever. And that's the case every day, right? And so um, I had to learn that it was okay to have them wait a little bit. You know, if I'm in the middle of drinking my cup of coffee in the morning and one of them yells that they need something, if it's not an emergency, I will say wait five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, because the resentment of helping when you're disturbed and not having your own time doesn't create good relationships. And so um, I think it's it's taken a lot of time for me to stop being guilty and start being unapologetic about being a human being. Um, I tell both the guys I raised them to adulthood. That was my only commitment. Everything else is a bonus for you. And so, you know, that might sound heartless and mean, but I think that it establishes really healthy boundaries because they are both adults now. And I consider them full-fledged adults, disabled or not. And so now I'm just nice. You know, <laughs> I help you because I want to, not because I have to. And I think that that mindset has been really helpful to me. And I, I watch peers who struggle with that. And I think that it causes, causes a lot of destruction to their, to their mental health when they believe they're the only ones that can help, they're gonna be doing it until they're dead, there is no other way out, they're, you know, they feel guilty because they don't love it, and then they know that they're gonna feel even worse when their child dies. And so that's just a terrible cycle to get into. So I try to not regret anything.